Okay. <clears throat> Confucius said that a journey of a thousand miles begins on a train. No, he didn't say that? Oh, okay. Casey Jones said, uh, no, he didn't either. I don't know who said it. Nobody said it. Thank you for watching here. We're going to have some fun with the trains today. We're going to play a game. I'm going to show you a game that's a, kind of a solitaire game, and it's called the Ingle Nook Siding Puzzle. And I've got it set up in O-gauge on a four by eight sheet of plywood with some homosote on top of it. And show you how it all works. Let's, let's just kind of lay out the, uh, the, uh, the object and so forth of the game. This was invented, by the way, or created by Alan Wright back in 1979. Wright was one of the great innovators of model trains. And he's probably best known for the Ingle Nook sighting. Um, and just FYI, an Ingle Nook is very uncommon to hear that term in the United States. But in Europe, Great Britain, and so forth, it's a common term where you had these huge fireplaces that would be used for heating maybe the, almost the whole house and cooking and pretty much everything else. There would often be nooks or crannies or angles or indents or what have you around the fireplace, and that was called the ingle nook or angle nook. And it was also a very popular place for children to play in cold weather times because that'd be a warm, cheerful part of the house. So his concept was to build a puzzle that would fit on a one foot wide by three foot or four foot long, I forget, four foot, I think, uh, board. Well, you can do that in HO. You sure can't do it in O gauge. And this is why you just never see this done in O gauge. And, and it's a shame because it's a lot of fun. And I'm going to attempt to show you what it's all about. Okay. The layout is as follows. There's a main line, which is this, and then two spurs or sidings. And on this main line, after the switch up yonder, there is room for five, your five largest cars. In each case, we have to have room for the largest car. So here's five. These are my five largest or longest cars. And as you can see, uncoupled, they all fit. And this one right here, here is the limit because this is the, uh, the uncoupling device. So come on around here with me, Wyatt. Thank you. That's good right there. And so we can't go past that. So we've got just enough room right there. On the second siding and the third over here, these two, or these sidings rather, you have to have room for three and three. And again, it has to be enough for the three longest cars. As you can see, we've got room left over here. We could put four small cars, but I promise you, if you put the big cars there, you don't have that much room. In fact, I'll show you in just a second what I'm talking about. All right. And then the same thing here, room for three. Let's move over here to this part. Come on, Wyatt. Wyatt is my ace cameraman. And uh, down here on this spur, we have our engine, our switcher, which is, happens to be a, uh, an S2, an Alco S2 from the Gulf Mobile in Ohio, Mobile, Alabama. And um, again, here's the end of the switch right here. So we have just enough room for these three cars. In fact, I've got a bigger uh, engine, a, an SD40-2 that, um, that will even fit on there just barely. I mean, it'll put them right at the points, but that's okay. Now, I'll show you what I'm talking about on these uh, longer cars. Stay with me, White. There you go. And see, right here is the, is the cutoff. So when you put the long cars in here, it's, it's pretty tight. Unlike, mm, 
you see? Got that much left. This one's actually probably a little on the long side, but it's all right. It's okay. But that's the whole layout of the thing. Five, three, and three. And then up here, three. And the engine. Now, here's the object of the game. You have these five, car eight cars. You have eight cars total. And they're scattered. They can be anywhere, anywhere on the layout. They can be coupled, they not, it does not matter what order they're in. You could have one by itself there. You could have five over there. You could have a couple here, four there, two there. Yeah, that's a, this is a good, a good as any starting point. But it needs to be random, a random starting point. Uh, you can just uh, have leave them coupled or not, it doesn't really matter. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put five of these into a train. You're going to create a consist of your engine and five cars. And that, um, that will be done randomly. And the way you do it, the way I do it, now there's different ways that you can do this, but the way I like to do it is I have made up these cards and these cards have pictures of the various cars on them that match these eight cars that I have out here. I have one for each car. I made these simply by going to the Lionel website and getting their nice photographs of these cars. Or in the case of some, this was an Atlas. I got that one. Uh, I think there's a um, that's a uh, MTH in here somewhere, whatever. There are all kinds. It doesn't matter. You can find pictures of all these cars and then cut them, print them out on some heavy, heavy paper and cut them <clears throat> so they're all the same size. <clears throat> and then you just shuffle them up. And I have no idea what order these are in. I don't even like to look at it while I'm doing it. Okay, now that I have five, or I'm sorry, now that I have them shuffled, I will, in fact, I'll do this over here where you can see it. I will lay out one from the top, two, three, four, and Five. Oh, good. Got both tank cars. I like those tank cars. All right. Now you have to make up the, uh, this train. Let's see. Swing. Let's see. Why? I guess we can see them good enough. Um, let's, let's move them this way a little bit. I think they're not showing very well. Now, I'm probably going to have to move them over here so I can see, but maybe I can keep peeking. So I have to build a train in that particular order. I have, first, I have to have this car behind the uh, engine, and then I have to have this Polar Express um, uh, reefer, and then I have the Deep Rock tank car, and then the Western Railway of Alabama. That comes right here through my town and or it used to <laughs> CSX now and then finally oh wait a minute I have have I made a mistake here and done this Polar Express twice I think I have all right I messed up there let me just grab another one at random okay that's good the Atlanta and West Point Railway which is that one down there so there, now we have it. Here's the reefer, and that was this. And so this, the Western, the Deep Rock, the West Point Atlanta, and the thing. And it's just that simple. So what you have to do is you really have to think about it first before you get started and figure out, as Bugs Bunny would say, your strategy. And what order are you going to do it? Because you don't have you you have very limited room. Uh, once you get three cars over here, 
you can't get anything out here, so it's you you you'll see. But like I said, it's very very simple to explain. I'm going to attempt to play the game and give you a demonstration, see if I can accomplish that without too much frustration, and uh, and we'll we'll just go from there. So um, this is a, a legacy locomotive. Yeah. Let's see, let's turn the sound. Yeah. Oh yeah. So here we go. All right, the first car is this one. So I'm gonna just start with that one in an effort. I, I really haven't given this any thought, so there's a good chance I'll I'll goof it up pretty bad. Now curves you see create problem. You, you can't make that coupling in that curve. So you have to do a little pushback. And, nope. I really like to take it as a challenge to try to do this without the hand of God getting involved with it, but can't always do that. Okay. All right. So we have our Polar Express connected, our reefer. And the next thing is the Western Railway of Alabama. So why don't we go ahead and get that one right now? Now, this may not work out. You know what? This may be easier than I thought. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is when we pass over this uncoupler right here, I'm going to see if I can open the coupling on the back of this Polar Express car. There we go. And we're gonna have to push it back a little bit in order to make the connection around the, there we go. I think we got it. Now, we'll probably have every car in here hooked up. Yep, that's all right. We'll drop this Polar Express off when we come by the uncoupler. Right there, like that. All right. Now, the next thing is the Deep Rock car. So let's, Go in here after it, and I see the coupling is open, but just in case, I give it a little, a little shot of open juice there and see what happens. Okay, we've got our deep rock car. Come on out of there. Oops. All right. And now, all right, now the fun begins. We've got to somehow get that one. Okay. Uh, if we pull out here, we, we won't be able to get that and back it in there. So let's just use the, just use the engine right now since these first three cars are good. And let's see, this will be the last. Yeah, I think we can do that. Let's see. All right, we'll uncouple the engine with the remote. All right, let's come back here and get the, uh, the little tank car. And let's see, somehow that all made sense and now suddenly it doesn't. Uh, but yeah, I think it does. Okay, we've got our tank car. We probably have our Frisco as well. So we'll drop the Frisco. Here we go. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. I know what we got to do. Yes. That's right. Oops. We've got to pull out and get these two right here. And again, hey, we got a, we got a solid hook there. But we'll probably have to have a little nudge to... There we go. Get them out. All right, now I want to take these two and drop them off over here on this. So we have, oops. So we have 
these out of the way. Well, I'm sorry, my cameraman's mom called and said time for him to come do homework. So we left off with us right here and I was, I thought I was jammed on the switch. I was just in reverse and I kept trying to go back. So here's what I was planning to do was pull this out to there and take it back in there temporarily. Now let's see, what, I've, I've got to get these two in the other order. And I had it all figured out. And now I have forgotten what I was gonna do. Hmm. All right, I have a plan and we'll see if it will work. See if we can get both of those. Very good. Well, this is embarrassing. Um, I had a technical glitch. I went upstairs, I finished the, the train, and um, went upstairs to edit, and the video just stopped. I think the hard drive had filled up, whatever. Uh, I'm not gonna make excuses for it. I'm just gonna tell you that it stopped, and so I have attempted, I, I did a screenshot to show, yeah, to show how everything was, and I've tried to set everything back exactly the way it was when the video stopped. So we can now finish this thing. Unfortunately, and this is where confession is good for the soul, but probably not. Unfortunately, in the interim period, I had one small tomato juice and you know, tomato juice can affect you sometimes, so just keep that in mind. Be patient, be forgiving, be sweet. Um, and I stood here and I figured out how I was going to do this. And it was, let's see, to come in here and then to come in there, to come back there and go there. And then get 
that. Okay, I think I know what to do. All right, here we go. Uh, I'm gonna come down here. Oops, with this. And I'm gonna park this little puppy down here. There we go. All right. And then I'm going to park this little guy down here. This is a National Guard, United States National Guard tanker, by the way. Um, all right. And then I'm going to get this guy. Oops. No, that's right. And blame it on the bossa nova. Blame it on the tomato juice. Yeah, whatever. All right. We're hooked on to the Atlanta and West Point. We'll get him out of there. Out of the hole, as it were. Whoa. Put it in reverse before speeding up. And hit the thing. Wow, right there. And think. Oops. And I'm not as. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, food. Let's come down here and open it up. No hand of God, no hand of God here. And we'll do it. Yeah, it's open. There we go. It's open for sure. I think it was actually open before and it was just so far out of alignment that it caused a problem. Of course, we have an unwanted car here, but we'll take care of that. All right. Now, yeah, you know what? I was right. I just did extra work here. I didn't need to do. Now then, now then, let's get our front three cars. Kind of boring to watch once you know what's going to happen, isn't it? But where were you when the page was blank? That's what I want to know. I believe there are 6,270 possible uh, combinations that you can do. I think we're at an angle here. Nope, we got it. Let's get a good hook up here. Whoop. Oop. <laughs> that Polar Express really likes to tag along, doesn't it? Oh, well. We won't be able to get far enough to drop him off, but that's all right. I don't know. Maybe we will. No. Not quite. Well, you get the idea. We would, if if our train was headed on to New Jersey, we would just drop him off right here. So that's it. And um, with any luck, we got it all this time. We probably lost the microphone. No, I, th I see it's still wiggling up there. So I guess we've got sound. I guess we've got picture. We've got a successful train. And uh, we'll let God get in there and handle that one. And um, I thank you for watching. This is fun, really it is. And if you're new to the hobby and you're looking for something to do with just a simple setup, 
I can't recommend anything better than this. The Ingle Nook Siding, look below for some links to uh, a really good website that explains it in great detail. Thank you. See you next time. Yeah, shut it down. Keeps talking about emergency stop, but he didn't do it. I'll just do it for him. <laughs> nice job, yeah. <laughs> Go drink some tomato juice, guys. You'll like that.